All right, we're back again with studying the CDF. Now we're going to talk about combination and the air brake test. Combination and the air brake test. First test we're talking about is the combination. Let's get it. Let's get the CDF. First question. Glad hands are used to connect the service and the emergency airline from tractor to the trailer. Service and emergency airlines from the tractor to the trailer. Why should you be sure the fifth wheel plate is greased as required to prevent steering problem? To prevent steering problem. After connecting the airlines, but before backing under the trailer, you should. Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the supply knob. Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the supply knob. A tractor-trailer vehicle combination is most likely to roll over in a turn when the configuration includes triple 28-foot trailer. Triple 28-foot trailer. The trailer air supply control valve should automatically close when the air pressure falls below between, excuse me, between what blank PSI, 20 and 45, 20 and 45. When coupling, when coupling, the proper position of the fifth wheel is tilted down towards the end of the trailer, tilted down towards the end of the trailer. Which part of the kingpin should the locking jaws close around? The shank. The shank. When checking the trailer, when checking that the trailer is securely coupled to the tractor, the landing gear should be slightly raised. Slightly raised. All right. Let's get it. A trailer is most likely to jackknife when it is empty. The spring doesn't release when you push the trailer air supply control valve. You should check the airline's connections. Loss of air pressure in the emergency line causes the trailer emergency brakes to come on. When you get ready to back under a semi-trailer, you should line up directly in front of the trailer. The best way to tell if your trailer has started to skid is to see it in your mirrors. Why should you lock the tractor glad hands to each other or to the dummy couplers when you are not towing a trailer? It will keep dirt and water out of the airline. Why should you lock the tractor glad hands to each other or to the dummy couplers when you are not towing a trailer? It will keep the water out of the airline. To unlock the fifth wheel, pull the release handle to the blank position, open position. When should you use the hand valve to park a combination vehicle? Never. When should you use the hand valve to park a combination vehicle? Never. A driver crosses the airlines when hooking up to an old trailer. What will happen? If the trailer has no spring brakes, you could drive away but would have no trailer brake. If the trailer has no spring brakes, you could drive away but would have no trailer brakes. You supply air to the trailer tanks by pushing in the trailer air supply valve. The front trailer supports are up and the trailer is resting on the tractor. Make sure there is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gear. The safety latch for the fifth wheel locking lever must blank for coupling to be correct over the locking level over the locking level you are to hook a tractor to a semi-trailer and have backed up but are not under it what should you do before backing under the trailer hook up the emergency and service airlines hook up the emergency and service airline after pushing in the trailer supply valve you should not move the tractor 
until air system is at normal pressure, at normal pressure. There are two things that a driver can do to prevent a rollover. They are, one, keep the cargo as close to the ground as possible and reduce your speed before entering curves and turns. With the, with the engine off, the brake release, and the foot on the brake pedal, a combination vehicle air brake system should not leak more than how many PSIs in one minute. Four, four PSIs. If the fifth wheel locking leather is not locked after the jaws close around the kingpin, the coupling is not correct and should be corrected before driving the coupled unit. The, cup, cu the coupling is not correct and should be corrected before driving the coupled unit. After coupling the semi-trailer, you should crank the front trailer supports how high. Fully raised with the handle in its brackets or cradle. Air brakes equipped trailers made before 1975 usually do not have spring brakes. Usually do not have spring brakes. During normal driving, some drivers use the trolley hand valves before the brake in order to prevent trailer skids. Which of the following statements is true? It should be, it should never be done. During normal driving, some drivers use the trolley hand valve before the brake in order to prevent trailer skid. Which of the following statements is true? It should never be done. You are hooking up a, tra a tractor to a semi-trailer and have connected both airlines before backing under the trailer. What should you do? Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the supply nub to lock the trailer brakes. If the service lines disconnect while you are driving, what will happen right away? Nothing is likely to happen until you try to use the brakes. Nothing is likely to happen until you try to use the brakes. If the service line disconnects while you are driving, what will happen right away? Nothing is likely to happen until you try to use the brakes. After hooking up, you should check the fifth wheel connection by pulling the tractor, trailer, the tractor ahead gently with the trailer brake slot. Pulling the tractor ahead gently with the trailer brake slot. When hooking a tractor to a trailer, you, you will know the trailer is at the correct height when the coupling device on the trailer is just below the middle of the tractor's fifth wheel. The coupling device of the trailer is just below the middle of the tractor fifth wheel. You are driving a combination vehicle when the tractor breaks away and pulls apart the airline. You would expect the trailer expect the trailer brakes to apply them and the tractor brakes to keep working properly. The tractor brakes to keep working properly. How much space should you should be between the upper and lower fifth wheel plates? None. How much space should be between the upper and lower fifth wheel plates? None. At what angle do you connect your glad hand connectors? to the trailer, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. The hand valve should be used to test the trailer brakes, to test the trailer brakes. What is off tracking? Mm. That's a good question. I don't got the answer to that one. We got to get to that one. What is off tracking? We got to come back to that one. What is the purpose of a service of the service airlines to carry air to the trailer service brakes? To carry air to the trailer service. In coupling, when is the tractor height correct? When the trailer will be lifted slightly when the tractor connects. When the trailer will be lifted slightly when the tractor connects. Which of these statements about backing a vehicle is true? Which of these statements about backing a vehicle is true? You should avoid backing whenever possible. According to accident reports, the vehicle trucks and buses most often collide, which is the one in front of them. According to accident reports, the vehicle tr trucks and buses most often collide, which is the one in front of them. Which of these is a good thing to do when steering to avoid a crash? Do not turn any more than needed to clear what is in your way. 
For safety, when setting out reflective triangles, you should hold the triangles between yourself and oncoming traffic. Hold the triangles between yourself and oncoming traffic. You are dropping a trailer and the release arm won't release properly because the locking jaws have too much pressure on them. What should you do? Gently back up the trailer and set your tractor brakes. Gently back up the trailer and set your tractor brakes. If you are dropping a fully loaded trailer, how do you lower the landing gear? After landing gear makes firm contact with the ground, turn the crank and lower gear a few extra turns. After landing gear makes a firm contact with the ground, crank in low gear a few extra turns. After unhooking the trailer from, excuse me, after unhooking a tractor from the trailer, pull the tractor forward how far? Pull the tractor forward, but leave tractor frame under the trailer. After tractor is pulled to proper distance in front of the trailer, how do you secure the tractor? Engage the parking brakes with the transmission in neutral. Engage the parking brake with the transmission in neutral. Okay. When inspecting the trailer supports, you should check for ground support and damage. If your trailer doesn't have spring brakes, how should you secure it? Use choke blocks. Excuse me. Use choke blocks. What color and trailer service and emergency, what color are the trailer service and emergency airlines? Blue and red. Remember that, blue and red. All right, that's combination. Now we're going to talk about air brakes. You should, air brakes. You should know that your brakes are fading when you have to push harder on the brake pedal to con control down hill speed. If the spring brakes are on, when should you push the brake pedal? Never. Re repeated, repeatedly pressing and releasing, fanning the brake pedal may result in a loss of air pressure. The driver must be able to see a low air pressure warning, which comes on before pressure in the service tank falls below what blank PSI? 60 PSI. If your truck or bus has dual parking control valves, you can Use pressure from a separate tank to release the emergency spring parking brake to move a short distance. The brake pedal in a air brake system controls the air pressure applied to the brakes. To check the free play of manual slack adjustment of S-CAM brakes, you should park on level ground Choke the wheel, release the parking brakes, and pull on the slack adjusters. Parking or emergency brakes on trucks or buses can be legally held on by spring pressure. Spring pressure. Emergency style braking is when you brake as hard as you can, then release the brakes when the wheels lock up and put on the brakes again when the wheels start rolling. The most common type of foundation brake found on heavy vehicles is S-CAM. If your truck has dual air brake system and one of the system is low on pressure, either the front or the rear will not be fully functional. The most important thing to do when the low pressure warning light comes on is to stop and safely park as soon as possible. With air brake equipped vehicles, the parking brake should be used anytime the vehicle is parked. The air pressure governor controls when air is pumped into the tanks. The stop light switch turns on the brake light to warn other drivers behind you. For air brake system in good condition, the air compressor should start pumping at about blank PSI, 100, 100 PSI. The air loss rate for straight truck or bus with engine off and the parking brake off and the service brakes on should not be more than 3 PSI in one minute. 3 PSI in one minute. The braking power of spring brakes depends on the service brakes being in 
adjustment. How should you check the spring brake application when air brake, excuse me, when air pressure drops below a certain level? Park on level ground, choke the wheels, release the parking brake. When you have enough pressure, shut the engine off and repeatedly, repeatedly press and release the pedal. If you are driving down a steep grade and have reached a safe speed of 40 miles per hour, you would apply the service brakes until your speed drops below 35 miles per hour. Air brakes lag distance at 55 miles per hour. Add about 32 feet to your stopping distance. How should you check your service brakes are working properly? Park on level ground, wait for normal air pressure, release the parking brake, move forward slowly, apply the brakes firmly, and use the brake pedal. Emergency control braking is when you apply the brakes as hard as you can without locking up the brakes. Which of these is not a proper time to apply the braking, the parking brake, excuse me. If the brakes are very hot, just after coming down a steep grade, all air brake equipped vehicles have a supply air pressure gauge. If air pressure does not build up normally with the correct amount of time, then your air pressure may drop too low during driving requiring an emergency stop. Excessive use of service brakes result in overheating, which can lead to expansion of brake drums. The proper method of braking when going down long or steep grades after selecting the proper gear is to brake until the speed is about five miles per hour below your safe speed, then release your brakes. Under normal conditions, in order to engage the parking brake, the driver must first let the air out of the air brake system. To, excuse me, total stopping distance for air brakes is longer than for hydraulic brakes due to brake lag. Brake lag. If you must make an emergency stop, you should brake so you can steer your vehicle stays in a straight line. Can steer and your vehicle stays in a straight line. The parking or emergency brakes on heavy vehicles can only be held in position by something that cannot leak away like spring pressure. Spring pressure. Some air brake systems have an alcohol evaporator. What may happen if you do not keep this unit filled? Ice may form in the air storage tanks and airlines and cause brakes to fail. The brake system that applies and releases the brakes when driver uses the brake pedal is the service brake system. Before driving a truck or a bus with dual air brake system, the pressure in each system should be at least 100 PSI. Your truck or bus has dual air brake system. If a low air pressure warning comes on for one only one system, what should you do? Stop right away and safely park and continue only after the system is fixed. What happens when your brake drums get very hot? They expand. They expand. We almost done. We almost done. How often should the air tanks be drained? Daily. Air application gauge shows you how much air pressure you are applying to the brakes. The difference between control braking and stab braking is control braking does not lock the wheels. Stab braking involves locking the wheels. Front brake limiting valves reduce air pressure applied to the front brakes by one half. To charge, release the brakes with air, you push the valves in. The tractor air supply valve is what color? Yellow. When the engine is at operating RPM, the pressure should build up to 85 